Hello, Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. Two of Swords, Two of Cups, the Sun. Okay, so someone's quickly... This is either you or this person. I feel like you guys have been at a crossroads. Like, there's been a block, there's been maybe... Uh, strained communication, maybe arguments, miscommunication, or just not really talking or making small talk, not really saying what needs to be said. But it looks like you're coming out of that energy pretty quickly. Somebody is somebody is basically, either you or this person, I feel like somebody is going to step up and they're going to just manifest this. Somebody is just tired of being in this two of swords energy, lack of communication, not seeing eye to eye, whatever it might be. Somebody is just, it's been stagnant basically. And somebody is just getting to that point where they're like, screw this. Like we, if we're going to do this, we need to do it now. Uh, you know, we, we can't, we can't really wait forever for this. So I'm going to get more insight into this. And if this is your story, if you wouldn't mind just leaving a heart comment or just engaging liking the video. It really helps me a lot. I'm trying to get back into, into the YouTube algorithm so I can continue doing these videos. I need to get them out there so people see them. So it really means a lot if you guys can just help me out with engaging with the channel. Thank you guys for that. Queen of Cups, Three of Wands, Page of Wands. And if anyone would like a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody left this behind. Somebody... I feel like this Queen of Cups might have actually been the one to leave this behind. Um, could be a fire sign and a water sign here. Could be, not for everybody. But it feels like... I feel like somebody was waiting for their ships to sail in. And it just, it wasn't, it just, it wasn't, this might be where there's like mutual love that maybe you guys just weren't expressing your emotions. This could even be a new person that you had your eye on and you were kind of waiting for them to make the first move. They were waiting for you to make the first move. Or if it is somebody that you've known longer, it's like, it just wasn't, maybe, maybe you guys were friends and you were afraid of ruining the friendship. You were afraid of, somebody was afraid of saying too much that saying something they couldn't take back. Or if it's like an ex or somebody it's going to be different for everybody, but basically the energy that I'm getting, and we'll go more in depth, we'll get more specific details as the reading progresses, but it just looks like somebody was tired of waiting for this, and somebody might have made a really small gesture, like this Queen of Cups might have made a small gesture, and they might have felt like it just didn't, I feel like this person didn't recognize the gesture. They might have just thought it was platonic or that you're just friendly or flirty. Like they might not have understood it because it's almost like you made this little gesture um, maybe to like be flirty and put yourself out there. And it's like this person just it's like you're being patient and perseverant and trying to get this off the ground. But it just th this person didn't realize your interest. Or this could also be them for some of you. Maybe, maybe they were trying to make these little gestures and the gestures... And I just see somebody trying to make these little gestures and, and the other person isn't really recognizing it as a romantic gesture because it's too light. So this might be somebody that doesn't really fully know how to flirt. Like they think they're flirting, but they're actually being pretty neutral overall. Um, but these, these little gestures were not recognized, basically, is what I'm getting here. And somebody decided to to leave this behind. Six of Swords is, is moving things from rough waters to, to calmer waters. Somebody was like, you know, I'm tired of being in this energy, this Two of Swords, this stagnation, waiting for this to, waiting for something to happen. Like, I, I don't want to, you know, if this person isn't making a move, I don't want to do it. Keep, tell me more about this. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Queen of... What's the Five of Wands and Queen of Swords about? Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles. This person might honestly not have known how you felt until you got pissed off. 
or they might be pissed off right now. You know, take it as how it resonates if it's you or if it's them. But somebody here, whether it's you or them, them, somebody is pissed off because their efforts were not recognized. Somebody is in this kind of queen of swords energy now because it's like they felt like it wasn't balanced. Like they weren't. It's like this this person that's like begging for this for this balance. They're begging for some of this, for this this energy. And now it's like this person's really defensive. They're really almost you know, they're, they're like, screw this. I'm tired of waiting. And the other person might be like, wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait, like, what do you mean you're tired of waiting? Like, I didn't even know you had feelings for me. Um, and so somebody is rushing in, in this King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords energy. Somebody is recognizing they're like, oh, wait a minute. I didn't see what was right in front of my face. I didn't realize. Tell me more about, tell me more about uh, the situation. Tell me more. What else is there to know about it? Judgment. Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Six of or Seven of Swords, Strength, Nine of Cups. You know what's interesting? Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini because I'm looking at the cards and. I got a similar energy to the in the Gemini video where it's like somebody cheated because they thought the other person didn't want them. They thought they didn't know they had a chance with the person. You know what I mean? Like they thought it was over with. So they went with somebody else. And it turns out this person had stronger feelings than they let on. So it's like someone feels like it's over here, but there actually is a desire for commitment. There is something here. And somebody is trying to be strong and not just say screw everything and just kind of run off and do whatever. Like they want their wish fulfillment. Um, Let's see. Let's look into this more. Hmm. So this person wasn't recognizing your advances or you weren't recognizing their advances for some, but what is, what is this person realizing about the connection now? What happened to make them realize it? What's the chariot temperance, queen of pentacles, yeah, this person took too long and I think now you're more focused on other things or you're more grounded. I think this person might be on the, for some, they might be um like neurodivergent. Like I feel like this was somebody that maybe doesn't pick up on social cues very well. Like I don't, I don't think they really, somebody felt rejected, but I honestly don't think that they meant to reject you. I think they really just did not see that you had interest in them. Um, I feel like somebody just doesn't, it, it's like they're kind of inexperienced or naive when it comes to romantic relationships or they're, they're kind of, they have a very sweet energy, but they, they might not have a lot of life experience. They might be somebody who just doesn't, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's like they just don't recognize it when somebody's flirting with them, when somebody's trying to get their attention, they you know, this might be somebody who is really attractive, but like maybe they don't know that they're attractive. Like maybe they're, maybe people are intimidated by them. So they're used to people not putting themselves out there that much for them. Um, it's like, what is it? Like the ugly duckling syndrome or whatever it's called. But it, yeah, it feels like somebody just didn't see, like they didn't recognize it. And they're, they have this new perspective. They have this epiphany. They realize that you do have interest in them, that you do want to build with them. I think some of you walked away, though. I think some of you were like, screw this. I don't want to wait. For some of you, I feel like your friend might have even told this person that you were interested because you might have been, your friend might have been trying to hook you guys up or somebody that knows them or somebody that knows you. Um, and I feel, I feel like you just kind of got defensive because I feel like this person... I feel like your friend, like whoever this friend is, I feel like they might have seen it from a different perspective. Like they might have been like, hey, like I think this person is into you, but I think they're, they might be a little bit scared or a little shy or nervous. And I think that you kind of just, you got your feelings hurt by something or you felt rejected and you're like, screw it. Like obviously they don't like me or they would have done something. I don't want to wait for this. Like I'm tired of waiting for them to make a move. The thing is, I think that you're dealing with somebody who's not in a very strong masculine energy. So it's one of those things, and male or female, or this could be two men, this could be two women, just take it how it resonates. 
but but I feel like you want this person to be in a more masculine energy. Um, and I'm not seeing that, at least not currently. I mean, people can always change, but in this current energy, I'm not feeling like they have a strong masculine energy. I'm getting more of like a sweet boy or girl next door type type of energy um, where it's like they don't really put themselves out there first usually. They're, they're a little, maybe a little bit shy, uh, a little bit awkward. You know, it's kind of like a cute energy, but it's definitely not what I would call like a strong masculine energy. I don't get, I don't get a very um, like strong-willed person. I don't get the energy of somebody who just like goes after what they want. I, I get the energy of somebody who's a little more of a kind of like a page kind of energy as opposed to a king or a knight. Um, somebody, yeah, maybe a little shy, maybe a little ex inexperienced, maybe somebody who hasn't dated very many people or it could be like somebody that maybe had like maybe they were like married to one person for 10 years or something like that but like that was like it you know what I mean like they just married their high school sweetheart and like that's like the only person that they've really like been with their whole life you know what I mean it's like it's that kind of energy where it's like they don't really it's almost like they don't fully understand dating um, but yeah, I think there's somebody, there's some kind of third party, but, but it's a third party that like actually wants to see you guys together. So this could be a relative of theirs that is urging them to come towards you or like a neighbor or a friend of yours, a friend of theirs, a mutual, maybe someone in your, maybe if you guys are in the same, uh, friend group, it's like someone that knows both of you. But I just get that they, the third party kind of sees it from a different perspective where they're like, they know this person. And so they're like, hey, give this a chance. Like, but I think that you're just like, you know, screw this or not. You know, I need a real man or I need a real woman. I want to be pursued. I don't want to deal with this. And that's understandable. So it's basically just showing you what's going on. Um, like this person is a sweet person. But again, do you want, it's up to you whether you want to deal with somebody who doesn't have a very strong masculine energy. You're you're going to in this kind of connection, you would have to be the one making the move. You'd have to be the one you, you want them to be daddy and they want you to be daddy is kind of the issue here. Um or they they, they don't they don't know how to be in a masculine energy. I I don't even know if it's that they don't want to be. I think it, it's like they really don't they're not experienced enough to understand like what that looks like, I guess you could say. Um, or how to go about that. It's like they just kind of have, they're, they're kind of shy. Um, kind of shy and awkward, really. So, so yeah, you kind of have to think on that. And this is, again, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. Like, this is something that you would know. Like, you would feel this energy from this person. It might even be what attracts you to this person. Like, this might be somebody who's kind of, you know, shy and sweet and nerdy. And they like video games and they like anime and they like... Um, you know, empath empathetic, like they have like a very gentle side, which is very attractive. So I can see why you would be drawn to this person. But but again, that other side that you that you kind of want in a relationship that that assertive kind of alpha dominant side, I, I don't get I, I don't feel like that part of them is really developed um, very much here. So so, yeah, you kind of kind of kind of got to step back and ask yourself, um, again, like, I don't feel like this person is rejecting you. I feel like if this is, if this is your story and it should resonate, if it's your story, you know, it's, it's, it'll make sense. It'll intuitively feel right to you if this is for you. But, but yeah, I feel like you would have to be the, the dominant one in this connection. If you wanted this for the most part, you would have to be this person, like I said, they might be neurodivergent, so they might not understand hints, they might not understand flirting, so you would have to be a lot more direct. You would have to just say, hey, like, I want you to take me to call, I want you to take me out to dinner, I want to go out to dinner with you, I want to go here with you. You you would have to, subtle flirting is not going to work with this person. Um, even even if the, the connection develops, there's still going to be, I feel like they're going to be... Um, Show me what they would be like sexually, honestly, because I'm getting something about that. that you should, the devil. <laughs> Obsession, lust, knight of wands, ace of cups, justice, the hermit, wheel of fortune, eight of swords. Hmm. Okay, so I think deep down, this person probably does have a strong sex drive. So I think there is potential 
for them to be fairly good in bed. But honestly, just right off the bat in the beginning of the relationship, I, I don't think that you would be really very happy sexually with this person, to be honest. Um, Because we did get some good cards. We got like the justice card and we got some cards that did say like, you know, yeah, deep down there is a strong sex drive. There is potential for them to learn. Um, But I just think the shyness at first, at least, they might kind of be in their head a little bit with the hermit energy kind of introspective a little bit. Eight of swords kind of... um, they might be a little bit too like awkward and, and kind of nervous. I feel like they see you as very beautiful. Um, and I think that like the, like it turns them on, but I think they would also be a little bit intimidated and they would not really be the type to take control in bed. You would kind of have to show them, you would kind of have to tell them like what you like, what you want them to do. You would have to kind of direct them and teach them. This could be somebody who's only been with like one person. Um, or just somebody, just somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience. So it's like you would have to kind of lead them and show you, you know, how, you know, show them what you want them to do. But I just don't see them being like dominant in bed. You know what I mean? Like you would still be the more dominant one. I feel like they would be more, they, they would still be kind of shy and intimidated. But there is, there is some potential for that to change if they learn, um, if they get that, you know sexual experience that they need in life um let's see yeah I feel like some of you just let this go but again it's just it's is, is there anything I don't know if there's anything more to say about it it's just one of those situations where it's like you you were you, there was that miscommunication where it's like again you were kind of waiting for them to step up and make a move and be in that more masculine energy, but that's not really, at least not currently, it's not who I really see them being, you know what I mean? I, th I honestly think they're oblivious. I honestly don't, I don't think they even really fully recognize that they might have thought you were just joking around with them, or they might have thought that you wouldn't have liked them. They might have just, like, thought that any signs they saw were just in their head. Um, so again, if you do want this to go somewhere, you're going to have to be in the, in the dominant role. And you're going to have to be the assertive one. You're going to have to be making all the moves. You're going to have to kind of teach them. You're going to have to give them that life experience if you if you want this to go anywhere. But again, do you... I don't know if you want that. You know what I mean? I don't know if you want to deal with that. Three, uh, ten of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, some of you aren't going to want to deal with that. Some, Yeah, some of you are just going to be like, nah. Like, I, I want somebody more masculine. I want somebody more on my level. Hmm. I feel like this person's kind of in their head now, too. Where they think, I think, again, I think that a friend or someone might have told them how you felt about them or they might have just picked up on the hints because like maybe you made a comment like maybe you got like maybe you snapped and you're like damn like are you ever going to make a move on me and they might have gotten intimidated and kind of just like backed down when you said something like that and now they're like in their head they're like oh sh like they're putting two and two together like wait a minute you liked me like you were into me like they're in their head now and they're trying to think about like like what can, what can they do to to what are they planning what do they want to do towards you what, what are they planning on doing i Five of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Moon. Four of Swords. Hmm. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. It's like they kind of want to come towards you, but it's just, God, this person's just so damn shy. This person's so awkward that it's like they want to come towards you, but they don't, like, they don't understand how to talk to people. This person's got some communication issues. So, yeah, I think the thing that you need to do is, is think about this. Decide if this is something that you want to deal with. Can you can you be with somebody who doesn't have that strong dominant energy that you would like in a person? Can you be with somebody where you're going to have to take the lead and you're going to have to teach them how to treat you and how to be with you? And they're not they're not a bad person. Like I think this person is very sweet, very kind of innocent, but again, they have like a childlike energy. This is more of a a boy or a girl, not really a man or a woman, I guess you can say, you know what I mean? Like they have potential to, to get to that point possibly in the future, but right now they, I, I just don't think that they are. So, so again, deciding if you want to deal with this and 
recognizing that you will unfortunately have to be the assertive one in this connection if you do want to deal with it. So anyway, I hope that resonates with you guys. Like I said, please comment below, even just a heart comment, just engaging with the channel, liking the video. It helps me so much because it's getting me back in the algorithm. Um, it motivates me to continue these videos since, you know, they're getting out and people are actually able to see them. So uh, thank you for that. And like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me.